All right, I have got a train YCD 151. I was, uh, I helped my church out and I work on their HVAC equipment pro bono. We was doing a property management meeting last night. Just we checked things and filters weren't due. So normally that's what they do is just the filters and belts. So I told them I could help them with other things. And uh, I think so far I've replaced the gas valve, draft inducer motor. Just off the top of my head, it's two things I can think of that were just besides the belts and filters. Come up here to check some things and found a crankcase heater bad on this unit. Both of them are bad on this one. This unit was starting to run. I heard the compressors kick in. Then they started to make their nice little internal hiss. They didn't hear a fan come on. Well, number one fan didn't come on. So number one fan wouldn't come on. So it wouldn't relay the second fan to come on. So I ended up having to take the number two fan and wire it to the contactor, number one contactor. And so when it came on, the number two fan would come on. So I got a replacement condenser fan motor to replace. And uh, I got the crankcase heater for these two compressors. The one for that unit over there, the number two circuit, was not available. It'll come in later. So let's get this guy up to snuff today. I gotta get my bag up here and the parts. So give me a minute. These are single phase fans. All I did was I disconnected my wiring to the capacitor up here. And you notice that leg, you jumpered there, and it jumpers over to here. So they're sharing this leg right here. The bad fan was hooked up right here, and this one has to run first in order for the other one to run, which runs down through this relay down here. So all I did was I took this off of the relay down here and put it up here so it would enable it to run. So I'm going to put it back down here to the relay second stage relay now my number one fan here and here there are my uh, leads so I'm gonna take all these leads out and then I'm gonna they're down here so I will go to the motor that's bad which tell you the honest truth I don't know which one's the number one off the top of my head let's take a look here Let me get the get the black wire out see where she goes all right Yeah, this thing got up to about 595 pounds of pressure before I killed it. Trying to go off on internal is going to be the next step. So it was kind of a good thing I was up here last night. This thing would have been going on and off. Could have killed these compressors. All right. All right, it is the first fan right there. So take this all apart and take him out of there. So let me get to it. Little compact drill impact. It's got the different settings on it. It is model number 2553-20. It's a nice little impact. And it actually feels pretty solid too. And it's got some good weight to it. been replaced obviously yeah this bearing was sounding bad you can kind of hear a scraping sound 
So let me get this guy off of here and get this motor out. Yeah, I would say the bearing shot. Also check the windings on it. I had an open winding on one leg and on one winding I checked the uh, the other ones that had high ohms on it, but put the mago meter on it and it just redlined right away. So let me get to this side over here. Get my bolts undone. I'll get this motor out of here. All right, got the new fan in, got the blade in. New fan motor, I should say. They're going pretty good. There's the, that's what I like about these. You get it just right, these little dents right here. Rest on there pretty good if you don't get this band too loose. So, got it on there. I'm just gonna route my wires through here and I'm gonna try to secure them a little better. They, whoever put the last one in, kind of just let it lay there. I wanna bring it up a little bit and get it off that pipe. Let me get to it. Now I've got this impact set on number one. It's gonna show you. It's got it's real delicate on number one setting. Almost needs a number two, but doesn't have a chance of stripping it out. So it just stops. So it's really good. It doesn't want to strip out the screws. You can go to number two and number three, and then there's a drill mode. I ain't like to run a new fastener. See? Good and sturdy. No stripping. Good little driver. Alright, I got the wires tidied up where they're not going to touch the pipes. Got them running under here. Back in. Got them back home. Back on the capacitor. Got a new capacitor for the new motor. And I got a crankcase heaters are bad, so I'm going to have to get to these right now. I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of wiring they gave me. If they gave me just a standard crankcase heater and the wires are short, I'll just clip and uh, wire nut them in like the other ones have been done. So let me see what I've got here. See, I've got female stage terminals. And that's what they give me. So, they're long enough. Let me get the camera down and let me see. I might just have to run a new wire. Case heater on. It is installed. Wire's been run and re zip tied. This one was good. I thought it was bad, but it's not. When I, read, when I owned out the new one, it was, it was like 4,800 ohms. And I could not remember for the life of me what they were supposed to be normally, so I just had to, I just went ahead and got two. So I'll save the other one because we've got more units up here that had this style compressor. So before we take it back, I'll make sure they're good. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this thing on. Put it in test mode. Make sure my That, that fan is running backwards, which tells me that it doesn't work either. It's just being pulled, air's being pulled through, so there's something wrong with this. The fan ran while, I know the fan's good. This relay's not kicking it on. Unless it has a temperature cutout. on it because I verified that it ran because I hooked it up to the other 
fan and it ran, so it's got to have a low temperature. Ambient. And I don't see it on here, so I'm going to have to look and see if it's got a low ambient kit on it. Because I know the fan is good. So. So for right now, for the purposes of this video, the fan has been fixed. And I'm going to delve into this and make sure and see if it's got a low ambient cutout on it. For the second fan because it would make sense it's pretty cool right now it's probably about 50 degrees so the one coming on i would hope they would have a low ambient kit on it and i'll look into this schematic and see but this wire here feeds the outdoor fan relay on number two so i'm assuming that if the board tells if the ambient temperature or the head pressure is up to a certain amount and I can't say it's head pressure because yesterday this would not come on when the head pressure got really high I almost want to say this thing has a outdoor ambient lockout on it because that runs over here to right there it gives voltage there and then you got the com and the blue wire and that closes this relay which would be sending power from here to here, kicking that fan on to normally open. You could put it on normally closed and it would run all the time. And I'm saying I'm thinking it's outdoor ambient because yesterday it would not come on and the head pressure got really high. So I'm gonna have to dig into it a little deeper and verify if I'm right or wrong. If I'm wrong, and it isn't based on outdoor ambient, then this 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 relay is bad on this board. So, just wanted to pass that little bit of information along. I was looking at the schematic, and I just didn't want to record looking at the schematic for 15 minutes. So, that's what I found out. So, I have to see if I'm getting power. If I'm getting power to my yellow wire and it's not making, I've got a bad relay right here. So I'm going to check that real quick before I call it a night. All right, now I've got it in test mode and I've got both compressors enabled. And I put a, a check voltage on the yellow wire and I have nothing going out. So it's not, it's not sending voltage to that relay. bolts on the red wire this relay is not closed it's sending out 27 bolts out to that so I have to check and see if K4 is locked out due to low ambient my schematic doesn't really tell me that so I'll dig into it deeper thanks for watching so I had a book on um, the train microcontrols for the Voyager units and I decided to come home and verify what I thought was going on with the outdoor motor too. We don't have an economizer, so when you go into test mode, fan on on the first uh, test, second one's cool one, third one is cool two. On cool two, the indoor motor comes on, there is no economizer. Both compressors are on, but you notice outdoor motor has the double asterisk so it was below 60 degrees yesterday, so it was what I thought. There is a temperature sensor in the corner post, and I was wondering if the board was seeing the temperature, was getting the reading of the temperature being at 50 degrees, and it was. It would have to get up above 65 degrees for that outdoor motor 2 to come on. So that's why I wasn't getting the second fan. So I just wanted to share this to verify what I was thinking and to show it on paper and it's a nice book to have i got it quite a few years ago and there's the publication number and i don't know how old it is i, I would say probably 2007 
when I picked it up. Because I work on these at school and and now the church my church has a lot of them so it's nice to have since I'm helping them out and also the school this was a nice book to have so just wanted to share that thanks for watching